Hello and welcome to another Excel lesson. In this session, we want to talk about some date function in Excel. Things about that you have two dates. You want to calculate how many dates in between. The simple way is we use equal to the finish day minus to start day. Then we can calculate how many days in between. We have another function over here. It is days function. The days function include two arguments. The first, we should select the end dates. Here is the end dates, another sample. And here is the start dates. Here is the start dates. Then you can easily calculate how many days in between available. But we have another formula for calculate how many net work days is available. In this case, we should use the net work days formula. If you open the formula for networking days, you have the start date. Here is my start date. Then we have the finish date. Here is my finish date. And if I have some holidays, I should mark it then. This is the extra holiday. Then I have 19 days in response. If I don't want to consider any holidays over here, I should use the net work days. And here is my start date. Then here is my finish date. And I don't want to consider any additional holidays, only enter. So I have 22 days in a normal calculation. But if I want to know that uh, I have five days work week, but over here, Saturday and Friday is off. Here is Sunday and Saturday off. What is the difference between these two? If I want to calculate it, I should use net workdays INTL. Then I should refer it to the start date for instance here is the start date then here is the end day and my weekend should be you should refer to the proper weekend according to your description for instance i want to take sunday and saturday here is sunday and saturday then if you have any extra holidays, you can mark it. If you don't have, you don't need to add any other character for these arguments and leave it. Enter. Then I have 288 days between this finish date to this start date. But if I want to consider these three days as a holiday, how does it work? Again, I should use net working days INTL. Where is my start? Here is my start. Here is my finish and date. And I have Saturday and Sunday as a weekend. And here is my holiday. You only need to select your holidays. Then close the bracket and enter. You can find that these two include three days different because of these three holidays. So up to now, we can calculate how many days in between these two days is happen. If we want to consider five days work week, two days take off, and also we consider three days as a holidays. But we have very good formula over here. It is in hidden formula in the Excel. If you go for date diff, you cannot find it. Also, if you go for the function arguments, you cannot find it over here, but it is very useful formula. 
On the dative, we have some consideration. I wrote them, all of them, over here. So you can calculate how many years, how many months, how many days you have in between these two. All of my above calculation is based on the days. But if you want to calculate, for instance, from this day up to this day, how many years, months, and days is available. How does it work? We should use date diff equal to date diff. Then open the bracket. Then first you should select the start. After that, I select the finish. And for the last arguments, if you want to know that what is the difference between these two date based on the year, I should write double quotation, Y double quotation and close the bracket. Then you can find that it goes to the one year. But if I copy and paste this formula to the other cells, but only I'm changed the last argument from year to the month. Then as you see from this month, this finish date up to this start date from May 1st, 21st up to 8th June 22, we have 13 months. If I want to calculate it based on the day, I all I need to update the last character to the D. And if I want to know that, for instance, here is equal to today, here is 1st of January 2000. I want to calculate that how many years, how many days, how many month we spend after 1st of January 2000 up to now. So by the year function, you can find that how many years is totally we took. We have 22 years, but we have some month and some day in between. How we can calculate it? It is the 30th of April, so 22 years. And if instead of year or month or day, I update these arguments to the YM, then I have three months after the last year. It show me how many month is available on the after the last year. It is better to remove the year. So we spent 22 year with three month. And if I change the last arguments from year to MD, then you have the 29 days. So we have spent 22 years, 3 months, 29 days. It is the how many days, month, and year spent from 1st of January 2000. If you want to, instead of month and day, you want to find the result based on day after the year, you want to receive the result based on the day only. Then you should update the last arguments to the Y, D instead of year. So it show you the different result. The result is 120. But be careful, if you use this, it means that you only consider 22 years and 120 days. But over here we have 22 years, 3 months and 29 days. I hope you enjoy this date function. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. 
I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.